world PDR coming at you here with another Tesla um, this one here is a 2015 Tesla Model S um, real nice car for a real nice guy uh, I know I always say that but it's always true when I say it um, let's see what happened here we've got a almost similar to that black uh, Model 3 that we had recently um, kind of a collision let me turn my hat around for you and it's kind of a uh, either a light collision or a full shopping cart but I'm thinking it was a light collision because these scuffs right through here there was a line of scuffs that went back to about here so this dent is actually this long guys and it goes right through the body line um, of course this is aluminum and there is no way to access this rear panel behind here um, I mean, there might be if you wanted to be completely cheesy and drill a hole, but I'm, I'm not doing that. So what we're going to do is use the glue pulling system. Let me get ready here. And I think what we want to do is go with this cool little creased tab that I've been using. Um, if I can find it. Where is my cool little new crease tabs? I think. It looks like this. It's one of these. It's a it's a Keiko. No, it's an Atlas. It's an Atlas, um, and it's not. It's a Titan style, but it's not a Titan. It's called something else. Just giving it a little cleaning. And if you notice, this uh, tab has got kind of a curve to it, so it'll actually sit in that dent. I can either go this way with it on this one because that's the most severe, and it kind of comes down through an angle or I could just start pulling the body line. And I think what I wanna do is start pulling the body line, but before we even go for that, we're gonna grab Machine Jack's jackhammer, wipe off this little dust that I have, and get this high pinch right here, guys. Now you can tell that's aluminum by the sound, but I'm gonna break down this high brow because I wanna give it some flexibility And so at this point in the videos, when I say I sure do appreciate everybody clicking on this video, I really do. Uh, we do have a microphone on today, so hopefully the sound sounds pretty good. It's a beautiful day. We're out in the, out in the field. Um, and I know it's probably tough for you to see because I'm getting real tight in here, but I'm just basically breaking this little brow down right at the most severe point, which is right here. And so baby taps about two pounds of pressure not really throwing this hammer down hard just kind of letting it fall now let's give it that pull that we want to give it we've got the black plague glue we might even have to go to the gray glue on this one because it is a strong area basically how do you know it's a strong area anytime you bend metal you strengthen it so let's go like this and kind of follow this line up and if you're gonna bend it right here completely folded over bent right here and then bent at a 90 degree right here that's three separate bends that was pushed in right in the middle of them all so there's a lot of tension in that dent now i'm going to need my slide hammer which i'm not prepared yet let me go grab grab the big old slidey still good we work through the problems so let me give this one a nice tug guys hear that you hear that pop let's see what we got out of it it, it moves some metal that's for sure um, a little bit more isopropyl alcohol on there uh, somebody else in the comment section last video asked what am I using for this this is a uh, misto oil sprayer for kitchen oil and you know what guys that did pop but it didn't pop the way i wanted it to it i should have done it like this so i think we're going to do that or we're going to go with a small round this small crease tab right here and we're just going to get it up right there where it needs to get up so i'm going to put most of the glue on one side of this tab let it just kind of drip and stick that right into the center there that's where I want it up. Give it its uh, 15, 20 seconds. I pushed it in pretty hard too. And let's take a little better angle at it. 
it is kind of tough to see just because it's on white. That's also a good thing because it's a little bit more forgiving. It's tougher to see at the very end when we're all done. So tougher to see that it's not 100% perfect, which I did tell the customer guys that this is not gonna be 100% perfect. This is a, uh, this is what I call a Band-Aid. That moves some metal. I felt it pull. And my, uh, my hot glue gun here is making funny noises, but it's still working good. So we're gonna keep on using it till it completely breaks. And if it died, I'd have a backup. I have my electric one if I need. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we moved some metal there. Look at that, guys. If you wanna get into that angle right there, you can see I, that pole, now I have two little lows one on the top and one on the bottom. That's gonna be nice. Let's get uh, a little tiny round, a little tab like this, and get right into that uh, bottom low here. Right there. Now if I can pull that one nice and straight. Uh, I might even put this little tiny one right up here, but I'm gonna do that one after I pull. And I'm not gonna make a real strong pull here. I'm just gonna make a nice easy one. Little popper. So basically guys, this one is not one we're gonna stay on camera the whole time. I'm gonna do a bunch of tapping on this brow. I'm gonna do a couple more pulls through here. We might do the speedy version thing where you can see what's going on. Let's do this other little pull that I said I was gonna do too. Little teeny bit of glue right up there and not even on top it's actually right in the body line so hopefully that'll pull good that's a keiko clear and real strong tab let's give it it's meh 10 15 20 seconds and uh what we'll do after after this one i'll do my uh my tapping and my pulling and I'm probably going to be spending about an hour, hour and a half on this one. And uh, like I said, we might do a couple of clips, but uh, we will come back and show you the end result for sure when we're done in just a bit. Okay guys, we're back. Um, I showed it to the customer and he's super happy with it. It's uh, me being as picky as I am, I'll never be super happy with it. I'm always gonna try to do more for it. We got a lot of this body line out and there's a little bit of a brow left up top here. Um, I don't think I'm actually done. Since I'm gonna be spending another hour and a half on this car uh, doing another dent that I'll show you here in a minute. Um, I'll probably tap some more of this brow down just right here. But yeah, we did what we could for the glue pulling on the body line. I think it came out okay. Um, like I say, I showed the customer, he's happy with it, but uh, you know, we can both say, gosh, I wish this line came out perfectly, right? And so that just means a little bit more tap of the brow. I might even make another pull or two on the glue, but um, there's, there's only so much you can move that metal right there. Now let me move you back over to this side behind the dent that I just did we've got that sucker it's a real sharp moon shaped crease and we're going to be doing that one next hopefully we'll have enough battery time to make a video out of it see now that I'm looking down at this is at a different angle I could see I could probably make one more pull right here so this is one of those ones that I don't know if I'm actually completely done on but uh, it is kind of a struggle with the battery time and timing of everything. So what we're gonna do is uh, call this one good. Like I say, I've already showed the customer and he's already happy with it. It looks, you know, he said 100 times better. Um, and I still might even make another pull here or tap down up here, but that's just because I'm so picky and I'm just, I don't like to leave anything that I see a little wave on, you know? Um, so I'll do what I can for that. But uh, stay tuned for the next video and we'll start on that one. Um, if you guys haven't hit that subscribe button, we would sure appreciate it if you do. And then if you hit the share, you can share it on social medias. I mean, we're on Twitter and Facebook and all that stuff. So um, well, sure hope we uh, gave you some entertaining footage here today. 
And uh, like I say, hit that share if you would. But um, other than that, I'll just say the thing. This has been PBR, and I'm out. Peace.